What's up everybody? I've got a real humdinger of a bunny update for you today. First, Cora's two cream doughs are now three months old. They are nearly three pounds and I think you will be quite surprised at how large they are. Then we have Camilla's little orange buck who is almost three months old and he is such a mama's boy. He's still living with Camilla and stealing drinks from his mom as well. Yes, she's still nursing him. Also, I did pick a name for him. I know it's taken me forever, but I think I finally found one that suits him pretty well. Finally, I have a new buck in the bunny barn. Now, some of you who are really good detectives and watched the end of my super long video about GI stasis and bloat, put the link up there, you saw that I put some footage of him at the end of that video. And that is my new bunny. I wanted to wait a little while before I announced his arrival just to make sure that everything was going well. And it has so far. Aside from being ridiculously cute, I will share what makes him exceptionally special to me. So stick around. These are Cora's babies. I know it's hard to believe they look so big and they are, they're over two pounds already. They are both solid creams. They are both does, females, they're little girls. They are three months old already. They were born at the beginning of September and here it is December. They are really tough to tell apart because they are so similar in size and identical in color. But the one that is a little bit larger, and I think it's this one right here, this one I am calling Callie, and her full name I think will be Kalua. And then the one on the left I call Apple Crisp or Apple. She just looked like Apple Crisp to me, and her head is nice and apple shaped. So that's Apple and Callie. Currently, the schedule is Cora and her two daughters here have the run of the bunny barn all day long. So they are completely loose, they run around, they have plenty of space. And then at night, all three share Cora's two-story condo. Space is getting a bit tight, so that's another reason that I'm going to have to separate them here shortly, but then they're also getting to the age where they will want their own space. Hey, who pooped? So I do need to make a decision soon which one to move along and which one to keep. And then eventually, one will be separated from Cora, but live right next door to her. I will leave them together as long as they will tolerate each other, but once they begin fighting or mounting each other, it's time to give them their own spaces. Here is Camilla's baby. Now he's just under three months old, but I caught him nursing on his mom today. So she still is feeding him now and then. He's eating pellets and hay just fine. Since this is her only baby, she's been such a loving, devoted mom to him and she's not sick of him at all. So she's still letting him nurse now and then. And here's the big announcement. I know it took me forever, but finally, just this past week, I thought of a name for him. I originally was trying to come up with a two-word name like his dad, Sonny Jim, but I just couldn't find something that I thought suited him. And you guys had great suggestions and I thank you for those. But the one that just clicked in my brain with this little guy is Fozzie. You know the Muppet, Fozzie the Bear? He just looks like a Fozzie to me. So I do believe that's what I'm going to name him and that's what I'm calling him for now. So that's little Fozzie. I do plan on keeping him for now. I don't need another buck, especially another orange buck right now. But with his dad being nearly six years old and losing Timmy so suddenly over the summer, I'm realizing the importance of grasping the opportunities as they come along, even if it means me having more bucks than I need to. Given that he shows promise and type, and I love his temperament and the genetics, 
and I'm really hoping that he can carry on his parents' legacies. He's also special because he's probably Camilla's last baby. Now he doesn't sit on my shoulder like he did when he was much smaller, but he still likes to try to climb on my arm. So that's little Fozzie. Fozzie the bunny. And this is my new bunny, Yoshi. Yoshi is a broken blue buck. He is right around three months old. He's super cute and tiny. And even more special is that he is a grandson of Timmy. Years ago, I bred my broken orange doe named Kaylee to my broken black buck, Timmy. Now, as most of you know, Timmy is probably my favorite buck of all time, and he passed away last summer. So Kaylee and Timmy had a Charlie chestnut buck named Luigi. Now, Charlie just means that the bunny has less than 10% coloring on it. I loved Luigi. He had a fantastic personality. He was super cute. But it was at the time that I had a lot of bunnies and I had too many bucks and I just wanted to have a smaller herd so I could pay more attention to them, give them more exercise. So I gifted him to my friend at Hot Cross Buns Hollands here in Ohio and she still has him and bred him to her chinchilla doe. And this little guy was the only one in the litter. I loved his coloring. I loved that he was a broken and then when I saw that he was a grandson of Timmy, I really fell in love with him. Amy was so kind to gift this little guy to me. I've had him for about a month now. He did his quarantine. Even if he were not a Timmy grandson and have extra special meaning to me, this is a bunny whom I would consider having to join my herd regardless. If you're wondering why I named him Yoshi, it's because his dad was named Luigi, who is also a Nintendo character. I'm a bit of a video game fan and I love Nintendo characters. And I've been waiting to name a bunny Yoshi and this was just perfect. He has quite the talent for escaping exercise pens. He's hopped out of my exercise pen here in the bunny barn that no adult bunny has ever hopped out of. He manages to push the box over to the edge and then he uses that and he will leap two or three feet horizontally and land outside of the pen. So when I put him outside, I make sure to put him in the tall exercise pens that are about four feet high so that he cannot get out because I just don't trust him in the shorter ones that have always worked well and I've never had a bunny escape from. He's quite the escape artist. So he keeps me on my toes. I'm very thankful to Hot Cross Buns for this little guy. And I am excited for what he will bring to the Hooks Hollands Bunny Barn.
Things are pretty exciting in the bunny barn right now. I'm excited about this rebuilding phase. This will bring us to four does and four bucks. And ideally you want more does than bucks, but after what I went through with losing Timmy, to have two young bucks that show such promise, and I know Sonny is getting into his senior years, I just don't wanna pass up the opportunity to keep some good guys around when I have that. I don't have any litters planned currently. However, Storm will probably be the next one. I would guess later this winter, just depends on what she wants to do and when I'm ready to deal with babies. There's so much work, they're adorable and I love them and I love having them around, but they are so much work and I do take the responsibility seriously trying to find them good homes as well. So. I try to really space out my litters and maybe this winter, we'll see. If you found this video enjoyable, please consider hitting that subscribe button below. We're at 99,000 subscribers, so close to that 100K milestone, and it's a very exciting time. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.